Hey everybody, this is JRPG Astoria Future Perfect. I'm your time captain, Evan, uh, and I'm working with slightly reduced audio levels today, because I listened back to the last couple and it's, it sounded a little blown out. So I'm gonna see if uh, if this fixes that problem. Uh, so I'm joined as always by Space Quartermaster Ryan. So you do, do you just want me to be real quiet? No, that's I've already done it. You can just talk like normal. Oh, okay. Yeah. That'll... And uh, virtual stowaway Kyle Lock. Hi. Okay. Once again, you don't need to do that. I I've done all the work. You guys can just I'm, look I'm gonna, at the game. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it my mission to do it the whole episode. Maybe dumb jokes uh this deja vu right yeah right let's go visit lopez or uh sanchez or uh i think it hard. was already lopez. uh already a little racist ryan that's good that's good i don't <laughs> think it. well sure <laughs> you know lopez or sanchez or one of them do all skeletons look alike to you <laughs> gonzalez gonzalez <laughs> well he's dead now <laughs> so I, I mean, he was, he was dead before. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh oh. So, we gotta get uh, we gotta get a hundred thousand gold. gold. Evan, remember that log or the stick finding mini game? You just do that with the gold on this island. Yeah. <laughs> you found twenty five thousand gold. Nope. You're not gonna do that thing again, are you? see here i'm trying to stand really still in case he doesn't see me <laughs> like hopefully it's like a t-rex <sighs> okay so what's the oh that's right if uh there is uh one way that you can get a pretty decent amount of gold okay well let's uh, do that let's do go that. go to uh any one number of this the uh the sailors guilds where you sell off like uh your different uh discoveries mm -hmm. um or wait a second here let's see here uh, make your way to the Sailor's Guild. Second floor of the first building to the west. Okay. The Guildmaster. Yeah. Uh, do you remember Dackett's coin? Yeah. We can sell that for 20,000 gold. I thought I already did. Oh, did you? <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, let me double check. That just sounds like something I did. Yeah, check your items. Would it just be here? Uh, I think it should be, I think it'd be in the far right, because I think that's for, like, treasures. Nope, you still have it. I do. Okay. Okay. So you can sell that for twenty thousand gold. Can I just take gold. that to uh, Nosrod? Uh, yeah. It should be. Yeah, you should be all right with that one. Okay. So it has. Yeah, that's the only real point to it. It has no actual like value other than than being sold. So. Well, that's fine. That's. Um, that'll get us the twenty-five thousand we need. Then we just need seventy-five thousand. It's yeah, other than that, um, the rest of it's going to be through fights um, oh, and yeah. just searching and looking through different uh, cities that we've been through. Oh, Maybe boy. missed some treasure chests this here is... and there. You guys. So, you guys. This you have been running away from a lot of battles, yeah. too. So that might be why you didn't get a whole lot of gold to begin with. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I grant, I grant you that. At the same time, <laughs> the only reason I was running away was because they're fucking stingy with the ends, and they always throw, like, eight enemies at you in these fights. <laughs> Look, Evan, all I'm saying is if you weren't such a pussy, okay. you would be rolling in the That's dough. That's good. Let's do... Yeah, let's just keep... Let's just go. Pretty much, yeah. It's all your fault. <sighs> <laughs> Sonic 06 flashbacks. Oh, it's nowhere near as bad as Sonic 06. Sonic 06 might be the most, like, intensely frustrated I've ever been at either of you. <laughs> that, that was probably the, the peak I frustration. I wasn't even there. <laughs> I, I meant, sorry, I should have clarified. I meant Ryan or Flint. Oh, okay. Because uh, it was a shared effort <laughs> of awful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm glad. It, uh... was, it was awful. I wouldn't call it awful. Right, because you were the one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, fucking Henry Kissinger didn't think bombing Cambodia was awful either. Doesn't mean it wasn't. That's right. Oh, well, wow. yeah, I just compared what you did to bombing Cambodia. Yeah. Wow. That's because I'm on the internet. And I yeah, work what's in the absolutes. rule of the internet where it's like, if a conversation goes long enough, it'll always end up with somebody being compared to Hitler yeah. and the Nazis. 
Yeah, no. That's the way it works. Can't Evan, take the heat. You are like Hitler. Kitchen. I know. <laughs> I know. In that you're Italian? Yes, Hitler was Italian. Good job. Yeah, exactly. Fucking American school systems, everybody. Are you, are you a failed artist? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, look at what we're, what we're doing right now. Of course. Exactly. Surprisingly, more ways than Hitler. <laughs> Okay. Yet, you don't want to commit genocide. Yeah. No, that's ah. never been a thing for me. Never been a priority. Right, right, right. I mean, look, I don't want to rule anything out in the future, but I suspect I won't be into the genocide. That's good. Yeah. I pride you myself play so on many that. video games, doesn't that just make you a violent person? Yeah, I know, right? Well, I never said I wouldn't commit crime. It's just not genocide. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to be able to pull off genocide without someone getting to me first. Oh, look, my phone is ringing. What? I, uh... What? That happened three times before I started recording. I deliberately didn't start recording or invite you <laughs> our, because my... first call in <laughs> it's to not the uh, JRPG History of Future Perfect. It's Hello. Um, Welcome. Um, yeah, What's I'd like to an order for Angelica. <laughs> I have probably made that call-in joke, like, no joke, 20 to 25 times in the last three years of my life because oh of every God. time I've recorded something and my phone has gone off. It's a it's a standby, you could say. Where's the, where's the guild? Um, I can't try to remember. It's the second floor somewhere. Okay, well, then. there's no stairs there. in their alley. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Wait, that's a chest, isn't it? It is a chest. Oh, you already opened it. it. Used to contain something. Now it doesn't. I'm now very... it doesn't. You know what? It's fine. I'm sure we'll get hundred thousand gold right away. Oh yeah. Like like it's just straight. don't be a coward and everything will be fine. Don't be a coward. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of the things. Oh, uh, go into your uh, inventory when you get a chance. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have a chance. Okay. Let's see here. And then go to Vice. Vice. You are Vice the Competent currently. What? Vice the Competent. Bottom oh. right, yeah. Oh. That's your uh That's my rank. Your title. That's not good that is That is not a good uh hill to die on. <laughs> yeah, no. It, not... If you run away from too many battles and if you like do poorly in the game, uh the worst one you can get is Vice the Cowardly, so Okay, well, I'm not cowardly. I'm just a fucking smart player. <laughs> the boss has never got hard enough. I was never under-leveled. I made a good decision with my resources. Oh, hey, there's a mystery merchant. Recruit him! <laughs> I don't want any of this. No, you don't. God. See if you can sell anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. This is what the game I need to be playing that? now. Okay, what's my most expensive stuff? Uh, you could... Golden uh... Mask. I just stop by it seems like name. that's just meant to be sold. Yeah, you could probably get rid of that. Yeah, fuck it. Um, anything that's like a box. Sacred box, Wevely's box. Oh, all that eight. stuff you could get rid of. Secret. Um, Four thousand. The seeds I'd probably Val hold on to. Valuable the treasure. Un Valuable treasure. Yep, get, I'd say go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. Uh, and then let's try. You can some other yeah, stuff. you can go in the tabs and okay. switch the. Uh, this doesn't show there. stuff that's equipped, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. It's not Mega Man Legends. <laughs> okay, let's just sell all of it. All right. This is what you've done to me. <laughs> this guy's of Arcadia. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's what I usually do is just sell whatever I I'm not using. Same with this. Uh, let's see here. I would. I'm not sure of the golden armor if you could equip that on someone to make them better or not. Well, so let's I would check see. that first. Okay, mystery merchant. You just do you. <laughs> just give me a minute. Uh, I'm just going to strip down and start changing right in front of you. That's worse. All right. Check everybody else just to, to see if it'll work for anybody else any better. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling, calling your house. the phone! It's our second caller. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, I want to change my order that I placed earlier. 
I don't want anything. No, no, nothing. <laughs> no, I'm just some aquafina water. He quit. Oh, you have that? That's great. Okay, I'll have that then. <laughs> Good. I'm cool with that. Yep. Okay, nobody That's all can, I need. Nobody all right. So it looks like you can sell all that. All right. Let's, let's... See, you're already at thirty-three thousand. You're doing great. Shut up. I mean, we started at twenty-four. Yeah. This is all. This is all your fault. I would have like fifty thousand right now. If it weren't for you, I don't uh -huh. know. You spend that ten thousand gold to recruit that guy. Yeah, he's real good. It's totally your fault. I said you can come back and do it later. Yeah, you didn't tell me that I should do that. You were just like, yeah. oh yeah, maybe I don't know. Well, who was the one who was like, oh well, but I want to play this as if I were, you know, experiencing it the first time. Okay, that's fine. It's just obviously we haven't been. That's not what we've been doing in practice. You've warned me about stuff before. <laughs> You've given me tips before. All I'm asking is for some right, consistency. Right, but then there's those moments where I control you, and I'm not going to take away that opportunity. It's not even a fun control. Like, fun con <laughs> fun control is when I, like, hijack an SCP stream and play the Juan noise. <laughs> that was pretty that's amazing. It's a, a fun control. And then there was the, uh, the, the last live stream, too. Yeah, where the we woman got, screaming, yeah. where we lied about that new scp there is going to be a new scp in version 1.0 oh wait you guys actually lied about that scp yeah no yeah. that doesn't exist i was like trying to look it up i was like what is this scp no it yeah. was just yeah. all set up for the woman screaming bit yeah gotcha it was great too totally <laughs> worth it i mean i had it muted did it get him yeah did he oh yeah did he know instantly did he know instantly it was me it no. wasn't instant, but it was. It uh, was close. He, knew. Okay. He, he got scared, and yeah, then then he was like, "Fuck you, Evan." <laughs> yeah. Okay, that sounds like what I wanted to happen. Fun. The the uh, the Juan one was even better because I did it a couple times, and he didn't know it was me. Yeah, he didn't realize. Yeah, it, which he was thought awesome. it was. What is game. that? What is that? <laughs> I can't handle that. And those of you who are wondering what what we're talking about, who may not know, yeah. uh. Over on uh, the Error Not Found YouTube channel, there's uh, Terror Report, which is where we make our friend Clint play through terror, uh, written, like terror and horror games. Yeah. And uh, this was during a live stream over on the Twitch channel where he was playing SCP. It's a highlight, Breach. actually. We should just upload that now that Twitch. You can just upload straight to YouTube. Oh yeah. Do that. Okay. Worth those billion dollars just so we could do that. Yeah. I make as much money as uh, PewDiePie on, on YouTube. Yeah. That hurts my soul it's, when I hear that. It's pretty depressing. I mean, look, I, that guy, he clearly got in early. He clearly figured out what the market wanted. Clearly a smart oh. man. Yeah, I say, that being said, though, I, I will always respect the fact that he's raised over a million dollars for charities oh, and yeah, research. Oh, yeah, sure. So. No, I have no doubt he's like, he's like, I'm not making any character judgment against him. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, it's a sickening amount of money. Uh, yeah. Okay. Where? Also, I just don't find him funny. <laughs> well, sure. No, I, I get that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, for me, it's definitely a hit or miss. Like, yeah. some of them, I'm like, God, this is just terrible and annoying. Other ones, I'm like, that was pr I, I, I was laughing at. So it really just depends on mm -hmm. the video for me. I really, I don't think I've seen a single one of his videos. It's just what I've absorbed through yeah. osmosis. <laughs> I, I watched... <laughs> I've watched like three of his videos, and after I got the joke after the first video, the other two were like, oh, okay. Right, so. right. Uh, so what do I do? Where do I go? I mean, I guess I can go back to the island and give that guy the 25000 Yep, you could do that. Uh, that seems and like uh, uh, once that's time. done, he'll start working on uh, uh, some uh, upgrades for the ship, which is pretty awesome. Um, are they mandatory, and, and do they cost three hundred thousand gold? You can tell. Me. Well, no, the twenty-five thousand is for these upgrades. Oh, okay. You're gonna use the twenty-five thousand to upgrade the hull for the uh, for the Delphinius. That's that sounds pretty good. So basically, you know all those like rock barriers you've had trouble getting, getting through. Yes. They you can get through them all now. So that'll be liberating. Yeah. Everybody attack. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And Enrique is not bringing it. All in all, Enrique is probably one of the more powerful of the f the fourth characters you can have. 
but I usually I I'm not a big fan of him honestly. Like he has one cool super move which is called Justice Shield, uh, which will half any damage that you're dealt uh, from enemies. But other than that, he's not a very good character in my opinion. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Let's do Reign of Swords. Yeah. And then everybody can attack. So the other day, a couple days ago, yeah, I uh, decided that, well, a couple of reasons for this. Okay. But I, I felt like there have been some moments when we've been playing that I gave you some misinformation, <laughs> not always on purpose. Okay. Some sometimes. of the time on purpose. But that sometimes I, I you just, in my eyes if you did it on purpose. <laughs> sometimes I've just been playing wrong. Mm-hmm. And uh, like, for example, when we faced that that tank thing before we got the the ship. Yeah. I mentioned that it was going to do like a scan kind of thing before it would do its big attack, and I was totally wrong yeah, on that. Yeah, did, didn't, didn't do that. It didn't do it at all. So I decided I was going to go ahead and start my own playthrough of Skies again yeah. and just kind of... That sounds like the sort of thing you'd do. Yeah. That falls wanna... in line. Yeah. <laughs> so my goal right now is to see if I can catch up and pass you. While also trying to do a 100% run. Do you do you really want to demoralize me that badly? <laughs> <laughs> but also so that I can get myself more acquainted with it, so that I can help you better in the future. <laughs> okay, sure. That's no, that's fair. So, 500 been... gold. 500 gold. 500 gold. <laughs> 500 gold. Yeah. Only if she learned pyro. So yeah, I've been doing live streams. I did some this past weekend. And so yeah, it's been it's been fun going back through that. Yeah. Uh, ah. See, I just got past the uh, the part where we freed everybody from Valia and escaped. Okay, that's like episode eighteen of this or something. <laughs> I don't know if it was that far into it. I'd say maybe somewhere around like Pretty ten, early. maybe. Uh, I think it was farther. If I recall, I is that before or after the jungle? That's before. That's before. Okay, that's okay. way before. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. It's kind it's, of a blur. It's like the second big thing that you have to do. That's that's where we threatened uh, Marco. Yeah. All right. That's back when I asked if uh, you were rescuing your dad was like the whole arc of the game. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. I don't We've remember. rescued him. We, that, was we? The, that was the part at which we rescued him. I thought we rescued Fina instead of him. Let's we, see here. I'm pretty sure we rescued him too. Isn't he just like chilling at Pirate Isle? Am I totally off yeah, base? Yeah, with yeah, yeah. He's he's oh. alive and everything. Yeah, huh. we're right, right around episode 14 or so. That's okay. About where I'm at. Okay. What episode is this? 72. No, this is 46. <laughs> so. This would just fucking fall apart if you were in charge, Ryan. I want I want you to be acutely <laughs> aware of that, that you bring nothing but on-camera talent to the table. It would be so great, like, if he was the one uploading these, and it's like Skies of Arcadia episode 18, and then, like, 20 episodes later, Skies of Arcadia episode 18. <laughs> Wait, this is, like, 20, right? <laughs> he doesn't even direct, do, like, check. He's like, yeah, this is 20. It's certainly not... 46. <laughs> I can only remember 20 episodes, so it has to be 20. Uh, yeah, it's because you fucking got high on jazz cigarettes. And now you can't remember shit. <sighs> you didn't do that. You only showed up drunk once. Once. Well, okay. More than once. Once that I can remember. And, fair, fair enough. And once that maybe you've just been drunk a lot and haven't let me know, that's very possible. Evan, the entire experience of you, like, knowing me has just been me drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been sober when we interact with each other. Oh, well, that makes... That's why you're so fun. <laughs> I'm glad you said fun. <laughs> and not something that would have been really upsetting. <laughs> I don't what? know what that would have been. That's why you're such you... a fucking idiot. <laughs> just a <laughs> bumbling a piece of shit. Uh, Disney Island. I found it. Why are you going to Dackett's Island? Because I thought that was the place. Am I wrong? The it's not. Okay. It's Crescent Isle? Yes. Okay. 
they're right next to each other. <laughs> they look sure. the same. <laughs> Don't give me this shit. They look exactly the same. Basically, one is a mount one is a volcano like volcano mountain and the other one is a crescent. Oh yeah. They totally right. look the same. You're right. You're right. That looks nothing like a crescent. What? Sorry. I lost I lost sight of what I was saying. I'm very <laughs> tired. <laughs> I thought that was Dakot's Island and I just went to Crescent Island. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> That that may be one of the dumbest things. Like <laughs> it wasn't dumb; it was just forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking at an island that clearly is a crescent, and you're right. like, "No, yeah, that's... see, that's the thing is because I thought I was looking at Dakot's Island. I was about to give you shit for claiming it didn't look like a crescent because it so clearly did. <laughs> I swear that made sense if." <laughs> I you had, had to the, watch that back. I swear like, I would have been right if I was right. Yes, if... No, the only thing I was wrong about, that was an entirely reasonable reaction to have if I was right about the names being switched. If that was Dakot's Island, then what you said about how one of them looks like Dakot's Island and the other one looks like a crescent, then we roll but up on Dakot's Island, is, it looks like a crescent. That's reality. <laughs> right, but I'm saying that... There are aspects of it. Offensive you're getting about this. No, hold on. There are aspects of it that do make sense in my admittedly wrong point of view. I, I'm just, I'm just saying that the response was viable. Should another thing have been viable, it wasn't all wrong. It wasn't like I thought it was Crescent Island. I was like that. Yeah, because that looks like a crescent. Because I thought it didn't look like it. I knew it looked like a crescent. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Because right, I can but see was, with my eyes. It was, because it is a crescent. Yeah, I know. I know, and the intent was to give Kyle shit for suggesting it didn't look like a crescent because I blanked and thought it was the one that wasn't called Crescent Isle. I swear. <laughs> I swear. I'm just letting you go on this because you just you're doing yourself you're burying your, your own grave right here. Like <laughs> No, I am not. I have I have elucidated my point. Sure. I've elucidated Your my point. point. Is, you're still wrong, though. Yeah, I'm not arguing that I'm right. That's not what this is. I'm just trying to give you a window into the incredible mess, like miscalculation that just happened. For sake of comedy and authenticity. <laughs> Fair enough. You guys Alrighty are the worst. Then. You guys are the worst. <laughs> Yeah, he's just terrified. Yeah, take, take your gold. Oh, he just punched through his beard. <laughs> he's such a badass. I'll just put the gold in here. Uh, okay. Whoop. This beard was white Wait. when I got it, then I filled it with gold. It's like Drachma and his brown hair. <laughs> uh. Alright. We're back on track. I know what the islands are named now. And see, you've got 37,000 gold right now, so we don't so, have much further to go. Right. I have almost a, a, a half of what I need. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Some quick calculations there. The, 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 uh, half. Where do I go? <laughs> oh, God. To the bank. There. To the bank of d the sky. Can I rob a bank? Can I rob a sky bank? <laughs> Yeah, this is a, you know, they had a late implementation of heists. What about the Maw of Tardis? That sounds like a place that would have some uh, <laughs> money. The Maw uh, just rolling in it. Some that's that's where money. the uh, the yellow gigas uh, was trapped underneath. And we were like, oh, we don't need to worry about this guy then. Grand Fortress? That sounds like there would be some rich people that's, there. That's Valia. Uh, Pirate yeah, Isle. Valia has a lot of rich people there, right? Yeah, and yeah, shake them down. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're pirates. Well, so at this point, are you just saying I need to roll around doing random Yeah, encounters? like, go around and check out some, like, diff just, you know, check out different areas and if you find, maybe like, find some discoveries. discoveries. Yeah. Okay, so, well. Have fun. <laughs> oh, believe me, I will. Play the game, Evan. Play the fucking game. You'll be fine. Reggie fils eh? What are you, Ryan? Are you Reggie fils <laughs> What if I was? Please answer my question. 
with this entire time, I just was. Sack of shit. Lightning strike. Turn into Reggie, Reggie bot. Making jokes at Mother 3 fans' expense. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't remind me of that. That was the most frustrating thing that's ever happened. Oh, wait, wait what? During... Did you watch the uh, Nintendo Direct for E3? Uh, I saw bits and pieces. Okay, I didn't well, the at thing, the though. beginning... Okay, so it seemed like they got the fucking robot chicken people to do their right. two claymation interstitials. Yeah. Uh, and there was a part at which it was, like, sort of cutting humor for Nintendo, right? And it was Reggie, Claymation Reggie, talking to a fan. And the, the fan was like, oh, so you're just going to have another Mario game, right? And Reggie was like, no, no Mario games this time. And then the fan shouted... You know, uh, I want Mother 3! And then Reggie, like, burnt him to death with a fireball. Oh, yeah, I remember. Made, yeah, it I made me that. so frustrated. <laughs> it made me so frustrated, because they then proceeded to show a bunch of games that, while they might be good, will not be as good as Mother 3. <laughs> right. Yeah, they basically... A lot of people had that same complaint, actually. It's like, why would you even do that? It's like you're saying, fuck you, to the people who want those kinds of games. Like, It felt like they penciled in that joke as Metroid, and then they were like, well, you can't say this about Metroid. Right. Uh, yeah. What about Mother 3? God damn it. Metroid game. God damn it. Mother 3 is so good. And then, oh, and then fucking... Yeah. At the the video game, whatever the not Spike video game or Spike video game awards, whatever it's uh, called the Crescent Awards. Yeah, the, the fucking VGAs. everybody's incredibly uh, no VGX, I believe it was this year. VGX is this year. Yeah, That's great. the 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 let's be incredibly uncomfortable and really terrible. Yeah, and Joel McHale there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Reggie was there and he had a little Metroid pin on his yeah. on his lapel. I remember like, that. Why do you have a Metroid pin there? Oh, no reason. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Pe people are still way too excited about that new Legend of Zelda for the Wii U. Yeah, I mean, they just didn't I mean, show any... I, they, I, yeah, they didn't show really anything, but I, that, I, I am excited to see it because it I, does look cool. Yeah, I'm yeah, probably... But I, people are like, oh yeah, now, now it, the Wii U is worth it! And it's like, well, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely am interested to see because I do like it. Looks like it's taking some of the like traditional fantasy elements of, mm -hmm. of Legend of Zelda, but it looks like it's got some sci-fi elements to it. I'm yeah, pretty excited to see how that. You turns know, out. here's the here's the thing about that. Le I watched that Legend of Zelda teasers a couple times because everybody was talking about like how good it looked, and I realized my why I was sort of underwhelmed is that it it seems like it's sort of a blend of. Skyward Sword and Wind Waker in terms of aesthetic, and I think in blending those two things, they have made something that I don't like the look of as much as either, as like either of those things. Yeah, I really, I really am. Not, that doesn't look that good to me. Like I, like I think, uh, I, I will, I will back off from Ron and separate myself from him. I think it looks good. Uh, no, I mean like, in, in the same way, like opinionated. I just think right. Like it doesn't look as good as the other art styles they've done. Because I feel like with with Skyward Sword and Wind Waker, they were making like really bold artistic like mm -hmm. decisions in terms of Skyward Sword's sort of watercolor aesthetic. Right. Then Wind Waker's like uh, super cell, cartoony, super cartoony cell shaded stuff. Right. Right. Uh, and then they put out that Wind Waker HD version, which sort of like softened all of the edges on the cell lines and kind of made it look just a little more normal and I, I didn't feel great about that and then the Zelda teaser just felt like they were using Skyward Sword proportions with sort of Wind Waker like color treatments but not as it didn't feel like as bold to me and so I definitely caught on like the Skyward Sword I, yeah. I guess I, di I didn't really catch much of the uh uh, Wind Waker feel though, I guess. Yeah, I mean the characters are definitely like, like the little bit of length they showed. I, f I feel is sort of more overtly, like bright and cartoony than Skyward Sword's length. Okay. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering it though. But mm -hmm. I do remember at the time people saying like, "Oh man, the trailer looks like Wind Waker meets Skyward Sword," and I remember hmm. thinking, "Oh, that's kind of, yeah, but it doesn't look quite as good as either." I mean, it looks yeah. better in a technical sense. There are more pixels on screen, but uh. right. Yeah, seeing all like the grass on that open field, yeah. just kind of moving with the wind. That was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I, but, uh, uh, I'm excited. And the fact that it's 
no load times. That's gonna. I mean, yeah. That'll, that'll be nice. It's they were talking a good game about yeah. like what uh, what it's gonna be. I guess I'm just concerned it won't be that. Right. Yeah. We just gotta wait until it comes yeah. out. But yeah. Uh, Cause it's still just like coming out of even that press conference. I was like, there is nothing that even makes me semi like. The only, there's nothing like, that makes me even consider getting a Wii U. Right. Yeah. The only thing, and I've said this numerous times, the only thing really for me at this point that will make me want to get a Wii U mm. is if there's some kind of Super Metroid style two and a half D, right? You know, kind of kind of game. Have you seen I, Axiom Verge? No. Okay, you should look up Axiom Verge. Uh, it's a game that this guy has been making, I think, for like seven years. Like, he has a day job. He's been making this game by himself in his spare time, and it just looks like probably exactly what you want out of a game like that. Just beat for beat, like, pitch perfect Metroid impression. Okay. Uh, I think it's coming out later this year. But I, I, feel but like I mean, it, like. Everybody went crazy over the, over the trailer for being like like the thing they wished Nintendo had made uh, up to this point. Oh, this looks interesting. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at it right now. There's totally like Metroid style enemies in it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think he's even like he's very upfront about it being like a Metroid game. Super like Metroid. just a Metroid game right, without the right. name. Um, yeah. Which, you know, if they're not going to make it that's... <laughs> right, yeah. right. No, and I there, feel like... there have been a lot of fan-made Metroid games yeah. too that are really good. Um... I can't. I'm trying to think of some off the top of my head. Um, somebody remade Metroid 2 using the Metroid Fusion engine, hmm. and it's in it. Uh, all the last time I played it, it was just a demo, but it was really impressive and a lot of fun. Huh. I really like Fusion. That might be one of my favorite. Oh yeah, if not my favorite Metroid game. That, I think that would be my second favorite. Um, After what? Super, Super Metroid, Metroid is definitely yeah. my favorite. Super Metroid. It's. I just feel like if they're gonna make a. 2.5D Metroid, it's gonna end up being on the 3DS where they know that they have that install base that they're gonna want to get out of yeah. a Metroid yeah. game. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they so obviously don't like feel that it's a strong enough game to be a system seller. Yeah, I mean, I guess been... yeah. I probably wouldn't have like if I was running Nintendo, I'd probably. Do... I mean, if I was running Nintendo, I wouldn't. I'd stop making home consoles. But I, I don't think. Uh... I think then putting out a new Metroid on the 3DS would probably be a good idea. That would be my... Especially if it's a 2... Like, a, a Prime-type game would be different, yeah. but having yeah. it be the 2D or even a 2.5D. Or even yeah. maybe, like, cross-platform. Like, make it, you know, just part of the eShop, digital download, kind of like Shadow Complex, you know? Mm -hmm. Make it a $15, $20 game. Yeah. I mean, they're and, never like do having that, the though. 2D that's just like designed exactly for like what the 3DS is supposed to do with this. Right. 3D I just, yeah, I just don't do 3DS or PSP or right, any right. of that stuff. Yeah, I remembered thinking that, uh, that as far as Nintendo like downloadable games go, I just don't think that would ever happen. Mm -hmm. I remembered feeling that way while I was playing Mario Kart 8. Is I, right. I, I, I like beat every original level in Mario Kart 8 in like under an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there were a couple other cups of like remixed old levels and it was on the multiplayer and that was it. Right. And I was but then thinking, you also think about like, for example, like new Super Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. the, the newer Donkey Kong games that are both yeah. 2D and they've been, you know, console titles. Yeah. And if, as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, they've been selling very well. Obviously, yeah. Metroid's not going to have the huge gigantic audience that something like Mario has but to make a console experience of Metroid might bring new fans in and old fans who haven't gotten a Wii U and are really wishing for something like that like me might get a Wii U just on that because yeah. I, I will admit right now I would <laughs> yeah I, I actually um, I don't know about Donkey Kong Country but I do know that Super Mario 3D World like severely underperformed Sales. Okay. Like in yeah, a I'm way. talking like the the two and a half D ones. Oh though. yeah, like, no, those do those sell those like do quite well. But yeah. Donkey Kong Country was even on the 3DS though, and also still yeah, well it's, there. It's true. Right. I mean, if it was just a cross-platform. Right. Thing, so again, it could be a cross-platform yeah. thing too. I just uh, 
yeah, I don't like using my 3DS. I just don't really like playing games on handhelds. I never really have. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I don't do it. But I, but I do. My handheld is my cell phone. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I do also. I'm sort of faced with this thing where it's like I, the 3DS is a better console than the Wii U. Like by by every metric, there that are is more. A, that is a really weird kind of thing. Like, yeah, I mean, there's more software for it. The hardware is more solid. Uh, it's but it's Nintendo's always been that way. It's, I feel like looking back, even on like the Game Boy Advance to the GameCube, there's yeah. just like a better library that was on the Game Boy Advance. Mm, than I don't know. Was. There's a I don't know. About there's a that. really good I mean, library on the GameCube. Like, yeah, there, and I mean, there is a good library on the Game Boy Advance as yeah. well. But I don't know if I would say it's more than the GameCube. I think this is definitely the most aggressive disparity in, like, the the 3DS to Wii U thing. I'd say probably the most the most noticeable, like, just in terms of Nintendo even sort of acknowledging through their focus, like, yeah, this thing's better, or this thing's selling better, or this should really be, like, you know, they're putting Smash Brothers out months ahead of the Wii U version on the 3DS. Uh, which is just such a ridiculous decision. Yeah, if you just like look to at say it. like they're even going to put that onto a handheld instead of it just being the home mm -hmm. console. And right. then especially to say like, oh yeah, it'll be here first. Yeah. So it's sort of like yeah. punishing people who bought a Wii U for Smash Brothers almost. It's like it, it, it just it seems increasingly to me like. The future of Nintendo. They either need yeah. to like make th their next console better be pretty fucking good, or they better stop making consoles. Because right. within like two years, we hear something of a new Nintendo console. I wouldn't surprise me if we yeah. heard something about that at all. Like in the next year, even. God, like I don't just, know about years. I just but, don't know well, how they. And, and when that. I say that, I don't necessarily mean like a new console entirely. But mm -hmm. obviously, Nintendo now has this kind of business plan of making updated versions of consoles and uh like their handheld systems as well over like the course of a year like yeah. oh we've made some new improvements here's a newer version with different things about it right so i wouldn't be surprised if we see like a different type of wii u or yeah you know, i mean they already a bit more advanced they already knocked down the price to what that thing's at 250 now 300 yeah, for the deluxe right for the deluxe i mean i don't think they're selling the other ones yet anymore the white ones really i'm pretty sure they just stopped selling the ones that were like eight gigabyte drives hmm. uh, and nintendo just like the thing that really keeps me away from nintendo like any of their new consoles going forward like even the 3ds struggles with it so much like right. i experienced it with mario golf is just their insistency on being terrible with like online experiences from mm. like yeah, obviously they... like mario kart 8 was better with like just jumping into lobbies and stuff, but even like DLC, the eShop, all that kind of like the consumer stuff is yeah, just right. awful. Like I don't even yeah. consider it in the same way. Like thinking about the eShop or like online stuff on a Nintendo platform, it doesn't even feel like part of the same infrastructure to me as PSN or Xbox Right, Live. yeah, like, like, like when I think of Nintendo, I don't even consider like, I don't even think about it being a console that even goes online yeah. other than like an eShop. I mean, Neither does Nintendo. I, they don't. There are so few Wii U games that go online, and oftentimes when they do, it's bad. Like at launch, people just like launch up the Wii U, showing the player counts in Call of Duty and Madden, and it's right. like 700 people worldwide playing Madden online on the Wii U at launch. Right. It's like, I did have my first. Uh, experience with a game where nobody else was playing it online this past week when I tried to play uh, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark <laughs> Escalation mode on PS4. Oh, man. And we I found, cannot find uh, a match after 10 minutes of searching. We found someone pretty quick in the uh, crash test of that on the 360. Yeah, I saw that. That was... <laughs> I would say, like, I've had that happen a couple times, mostly with, like, uh, Xbox Live Arcade or yeah. even some of the indie games, too. Especially the indie games, honestly. Yeah, well, but, the, the fucking Xbox Live indie game stuff is such a mess, anyway. There yeah, it really is. Mess. It's uh, a very convoluted mess. It seems like they're doing better with that stuff now, because they, they have that ID at Xbox program, and they have actually yeah. a pretty promising lineup of games that they showed. Like, the... 
at the press conference that sizzle reel of like all of their ID at Xbox stuff is basically the best chunk Cuphead. of games. Cuphead. <laughs> Cuphead. Uh, Other than Cuphead, like, is Cuphead even an exclusive though, or were those uh, all? Oh God, I don't. Know. Uh, I don't believe Cuphead is an exclusive. I believe it is yeah. coming to uh, Xbox One. I think 360, PC, and PS4. I'll double check though. But it is a neat program because basically you just go to a if you're a developer. You go to Xbox and you fill out a form and they send you a dev kit for right. free. Yeah. Um, and you can Xbox it One it. and it looks like Steam. So yeah, okay. those are the only platforms it looks like right now. Maybe console exclusivity. <clears throat> Probably. But I just feel like, as far as like how vocal they are about it, because I did Xbox. This was the first time we heard about it this past E3. Oh no, uh, no no no. Really? No, that I did Xbox has been around for since like last E3. Oh, yeah, wow. they, they did then, talk about it vague, like not not in huge. They they said that they were going to be really adamant, more or much more adamant about yeah. indie games, but they had never really like specified. Okay. It's, it's definitely not been. You have to be like actively interested and knowing to look for the ID at Xbox like developments to find them. Microsoft as a as a unit hasn't been promoting it great. But, okay, uh, that, okay, that makes more sense. Then. Yeah, but yeah. I just feel like Sony has been much more vocal and like the amount of yeah. time that Sony gave this past E3 to like mm-hmm. different indie stuff compared cuz like for no Xbox Man's Sky. but for like Microsoft it was like they had this very like okay this is the indie section where we're going to do an indie right, right just a montage while, yeah yeah while over at Sony like they're showing their big budget like whatever console exclusive game yeah. they have and then that gets like a full 5 to 7 minutes and then right next to that and No Man's Sky comes out, closes the show with even longer right. amount of time. And like, Sony just treats those indies like I feel so much better on like oh, yeah. with that with the presence. I mean, that's sort of what it's always been. I mean, the, the Xbox sort of obviously Xbox in most real terms like one for lack of a better word the the console race last last uh, generation i mean they right. sold they sold more units and th- right they're, they're... although right around the end of it they were it was actually pretty neck and neck yeah between it, PS- it was um ps3 had like a bunch of problems at launch. Uh, the ps3 as far right. as i understand was also like a mess of a console from a like developing standpoint like yeah, it yeah. Was... starting out it was it was pretty bad for yeah. it and not to mention it came out even what year after and yeah yeah it, t- it took like from ps3 release it took like what was it two or three years for it to turn profit right it took a Something while like that. it took uh, a while but the yeah because that thing launched at am i crazy or did the ps4 launch at 600 dollars it launched yep. i bought it for 600 dollars. i could tell you for sure it launched at 600 okay. yeah that was that was one of the biggest things that people like were like are you fucking crazy yeah <laughs> that's uh Man, can you even imagine somebody launching a console for six hundred dollars like now? Like that's uh, remember last E three when we were all just sitting around like watching for all the stuff and they announced that uh PS four was gonna be four hundred and Evan was sitting there and he was like, Guys, I gotta go, GameStop is still open here and he just <laughs> left. Yeah, I up. literally <laughs> and I don't use the word literally frivolously. I literally jumped out of my seat and ran to my GameStop. Yeah, I say some of the other consoles in the history of gaming who have who, that have sold for something that high. Um, the 3DO was 6.99. Yeah, the 3DO was. Uh, is that uh, with inflation or no? That is without. That inflation. is without inflation. Wow. Um, uh, SNK Neo Geo 6.49. Oh yeah, the Neo Geo. Fuck, the Neo Geo like cartridges were insane because the oh, Neo yeah. Geo was basically <laughs> it was basically sh- just buying arcade carts. Like giant, ar- oh, like yeah. arcade the, games. The boxes sticking. for those things are just gigantic. Yeah, uh, I, I still love like reading different stories of like when developers are announcing like prices for their games and stuff, and everybody's like, sixty dollars is so expensive. Do you guys remember when like the N sixty four and uh, it wasn't? At least I didn't see it as much with the PlayStation, but like a lot of the old cartridge systems, oh, yeah. they just named whatever price they yeah, wanted. Yeah, they just didn't give a shit. 64 was 80 bucks. Yeah, Donkey yep. Kong 64 was $80, and that's not including inflation. Like, video games yeah. were, uh, even though it might not feel like it, were more expensive. In, yeah. it, it, it's just that 
the inflation works out where it feels like it's more expensive now. And then if you take like a lot of especially Steam into consideration how most of those what are sixty dollar on console launch at fifty dollars for yeah, their right. Yeah. Yeah. Games are not near as expensive as people remember them being. That's true. That's right, true. yeah, they're not near as expensive. And I think we're also getting into a, a time where we're not necessarily seeing it as being a universal price in terms of, like, obviously a lot of the big games that come out are going to be, like, $60 at launch. But you have all these other, like, indie games that kind of are like, okay, well, we think this one's worth 15 this one's worth 20 this Even one's worth Even those games can sell just as much yeah. as yeah. those big if, budget I games. I mean, if not them. more. I, I yeah. think another thing that I've seen a lot, like, in the last couple of years that struck me as sort of unthinkable at the start of last generation is, like, games at retail... Like you thought, go to GameStop and new releases that are just priced at like forty bucks because they're just like we don't think this is <laughs> we yeah. we don't think this is sixty dollars worth of stuff, uh, which strikes me as a relatively like recent occurrence. The idea that you could go and buy like EDF and right. EDF and is then at sixty dollars. Yeah, and then some of those like HD re-releases they usually drop the price on those too, so yeah. they're not like sixty. They're usually like forty. I think it was uh, like Metal Gear Solid HD Collection was 40 when it came out, something like that. I just remember most of uh, Sony's HD stuff is, it releases at 40. Yeah, yeah. I I, uh, I remember when I wandered into a Best Buy uh, with my dad in 2010. Uh, my dad does not care for video games, um, <laughs> so, but he, you know, he'd occasionally look at the rows of games, and I think try to deliberately find something that looked kind of uh, obtuse and weird for me because <laughs> that was sort of his <laughs> jam and I just remember I hadn't heard of it before and he came up to me and said this game I assure you is the real deal and he handed me a copy of Deadly Premonition and, nice. my, life, and my life was changed that's great. So oh, you say uh, your dad doesn't know, like he's not that into video games. Oh, he I knows. mean, he didn't know. I mean, he didn't know shit about what Deadly Premonition was. He just looked at the box and was like, "Yeah, no, this is." <laughs> no, he <laughs> he played it before. <laughs> he had an, It's he, a secret. I mean, he bought me uh, the orange box too. So he nice. he was tapped. He, you know, I think he read a review of Portal in the newspaper, <laughs> and he was like, "That sounds pretty good." It's nice. But uh, yeah, Deadly uh, Premonition. Oh. That's. Twenty dollar game. Definitely. Consoles, if you want to hear their prices uh, adjusted for inflation, I just pulled up a couple of them here. Mm -hmm. um, the NES originally sold for two hundred dollars, and for inflation would be four twelve today. Okay. Genesis, which was originally one ninety, would be three forty six. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. The Neo Geo, which was six fifty, would be one thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars <laughs> today. <laughs> I'd spend that on Neo Geo. Why not? You can play <laughs> Wind Jammers on it. The 3DO would sell for one thousand ninety-five dollars today. That's insane. 3DO, you could get uh, Night Trap, or um, I don't know. There's probably a version of Snatcher that was on the 3DO. I don't know why I think that, but I do. Wow, the Dreamcast originally sold for two hundred dollars. Yeah, that that sounds right. It's just, can you imagine, like, paying more for an NES than you are for a PS4? Like, it's just... I'm not saying that, you know, there's no uh, considerations with, like, price scaling for the times and stuff. But in right. raw data, you're getting so much more out of any of the new consoles. Right. Than yeah, you I would love dreamed. to see, like, yeah. Nintendo or, like, even Sega, like, create like a retro game console mm -hmm. that doesn't play their retro games, but they just start an entire team of just development on retro style that games. Yeah, that would be, that would be cool. And uh, then, you know, like, sell cartridges or something like that for like $15. I each. feel like and, that would be cool for me, yeah. but not right. for enough people. But, right, But then exactly. like you say that, but then look at all like, look at Shovel Knight. That game just came out. Yeah. A lot of people love that for how retro, like we don't need like an entire development team just dedicated oh, no. to that. I, I, like, Ryan. Ryan, I need to tell yeah. you something. Yeah. If Nintendo said tomorrow they were going to put out a cartridge-based system and they were going to have a couple teams constantly churning out cartridge games you could go to the GameStop and purchase, that would be the greatest day of my life. No, I know. <laughs> I would go buy it, too. I'm just yeah, saying it's too. not, like, a necessity. There are, like, 
there are still those like retro type right. games right. that still do really well. That's why when I, mean, I say be amazing. <laughs> when I say that's great for like us and nobody else, that's exactly. It's just I'm a weirdo who really likes <laughs> really likes buying cartridges of games. Because you just got what is it called like the ret? I got the Retron Five. Yeah. Retron Five. Uh, oh, how is it? It's uh, it's neat. You know, it's. One of that's those... the one that's uh, got the wireless controllers and Yeah, the, the controller is garbage. It's hot garbage. Yeah, that's what I I was worried about the cartridge <laughs> or the uh, the controller. Uh, yeah, that it's was not. The thing I was worried about. But I mean, they have ports on the side for right. So you can plug in Genesis and Nintendo. And uh, and Nintendo. Uh, that's actually we're doing an NES game in uh, season two of JRPG: A Story of Future Perfect, and I'm staring at it right now. It's in my Retron five. Nice. I've got a. Uh, a... FC twin that plays NES and Super Nintendo, and I've cons I want to get the Retron Five because it just sounds awesome. That you can play Super Nintendo, Famicom, Super Famicom, yeah, yeah. Famicom, like, it's all that stuff. You could even get a power base converter and plug it into the so you can play Master System games too. Yep, it, it, you can uh, play Master System. It's uh, it's I, a weird thing because it's uh, the main reason I wanted it was just for utility purposes because it's the first thing console I can buy that I can put an actual cartridge in and it'll just give me an HDMI feed that I can right. capture with and that's a huge help. Uh, but it's another thing where it's it, it's just running emulation software. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no actual like system in it so I think for oh, yeah. hardcore collectors there's definitely going to be a point at which you know do I want to spend $140 on the Retron 5 or do I just want to buy a cartridge and then download a ROM on my PC, because that's right. basically exactly the same experience you're getting. Right. Uh, and yeah, and I mean, cheaper. but to be fair, like, for example, like, my FC Twin, the emulation software in that is not terribly great. Yeah. So, like, certain games, like, for example, uh, Castlevania 3 doesn't work on it. Right. Whereas the Retron 5, as far as I remember, they said they have gotten the emulation down so that it is 100% accurate, or 100%... Hear... Yeah, I've read some reviews that claim that's not actually true. But yeah, that the, surprise me. <laughs> I think I think their wording was like, "We are dedicated to making it 100% compatible." Right. So I think right. the idea is they'll just release like firmware updates or something. That uh, I don't even yeah. know how they do that because I don't think it connects to the internet. But anyway, yeah, it looks. I, I really want to get. They'll do the Ouya thing, Retron 5 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a good purchase for... I think it would be a good purchase for you, Kyle, in the same way, yeah. just for video capture stuff. Like, it, um, especially for me, it's way more convenient since I only have a single monitor. Uh, just the... Playing stuff on my television and then having the recording on my computer monitor is great, as compared oh, yeah. to, like, how I did Pokemon. It was just... Like, I, I hope this is recording. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I can't Basically see Basically, how I do it is, like... For example, like say something like the GameCube that I have currently in for Skies of Arcadia Legends. It's like the AV cables come out, they go into this converter that goes from, you know, composite to HDMI. The HDMI goes into my Hopage device, and then the Hopage is in, plugged into my computer, and then another HDMI signal goes out to my TV. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of Frankenstein, you know, mess that I it would if works. you ever if you ever find that you've got a little cash to spare. The, uh, I use the Elgato, and it's it's. I used a Hobbit for a while, uh, and the Elgato is much preferred because it's yeah. It's like it's way smaller, and it it doesn't have like any. Uh, so easy. I, I have yeah, one. it's really easy. the The software it comes with is pretty good, and mm. it like there's no there's no power supply. Like it just runs. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's HDMI in, HDMI out, and it comes with like a converter so you can plug you know composite cables in there if you need to oh, okay uh, it's it's pretty efficient it's right yeah pricier. i know i was looking at both of them and i ultimately decided on the hopage yeah. um i think it was probably a price difference yeah no my... it's definitely more ex it's probably like 60 to 70 dollars more expensive to get right. the elgato but uh it is there's definitely a perceivable quality difference uh <laughs> Yeah, I say the software on the Hopage is it's not bad either. Yeah. Like I, I have all the settings on there that I need for mm -hmm. what I want to do with it. Um, yeah, and but, plus I can actually use that and put it into like XSplit if I want to stream, which I, like I've been doing with Skies. So yeah, the uh, the Elgato supports that as well, actually. So okay, if that's something you're interested, in. and you can just stream straight from the Elgato too. 
Oh, okay. They've got, like, their software has live streaming built in, which is really yeah, neat. Yeah, I haven't checked to see if uh, the Hopage has anything like yeah. that or not. It's, uh... I say this as I stare down at my lonely, dusty Hopage. No longer <laughs> plugged this in. This is sitting right next to your Wii U that hasn't been turned on since, like, Thanksgiving. No, it's sitting, actually, fittingly, right next to a uh, rock band guitar controller. Uh, see, I've just got mine next to my external hard drives. Like, it's... Mm. It doesn't take a whole lot of space, in my opinion, but I, probably... I also disabled the dumb record button on the Hopage device. It's like, oh, press this button and you'll record. It's like, no, it's all the way over there. I, why do that when I can just click the record button on the software? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I just disable that. That's for chumps is what that's for. Since yeah. since I'm now well-equipped enough to start like doing crash tests for our site mm -hmm. and like, next season doing... Uh, Game. Like running the episodes, I'm I'm seriously like every so often, like a couple of times a week, I'll just go on Amazon and look at like two terabyte external hard drives. Yeah, and stuff I and don't. Like, um, yeah. Right now, let's see here. I <laughs> I have um, let's see here two, three, four, five, five point two terabytes. That's a lot hard drive space yeah i've got two uh internal and i i don't have an external drive i just got in the habit of i'm just deleting my backups now because i when i realized i could just download any of the videos i upload to youtube uh, yeah back down, I, I was like okay. i do that I, I for the most part but like recently uh i have i've been hoping that youtube would announce 60 frames per second support which they finally did yep. And I've actually been recording at 60 frames a second for a couple months. So I actually have like this huge log of videos that are all now in 60 frames. So, so how I are might you, consider re-uploading them. How are you doing that? Are you doing that through? Because I would be interested in trying that, but I don't know what. Is that just a thing in XSplit you can? Well, I, I, well yeah, you can do it in XSplit. Uh, for the most part, I record like PC games with fraps okay. unless there's some kind of compatibility issue and then I'll go to XSplit as a secondary. Oh. Um, but yeah, you can have either of them record in 60 okay. frames. Because every time I look at the frame rate options in XSplit, I feel like it only goes up to 30. But I, I just you have to out. you have to set it to a custom oh, frame rate. Oh, okay. Yeah, I there's think, yeah. there's they have everything like 20, 25, 24 point whatever and 30 and like that. But you have to choose like custom yeah, frame 29. rate. 29.97. Yeah, 29.97. Uh, 29. Is... Here's a question. Is there any chance that me recording video on my PC at 60 frames a second would make my computer explode? Because I'm not that interested in having my computer explode. Well, if it runs the games at 60 frames and and you can record at 30 already, I wouldn't think it would be too much harder yeah. to record it at 60. Because um, it is twice the video. And right, but file size, like the file sizes, for example, like they don't, they're not that much bigger. Like okay. it's not like a double the size. Like a, a 60 frames per second video is not going to be twice the size of a 30 we frames per second video. I figured it would just because there's twice as many. Right, know, right. Yeah, it's, it's to... not like this. Yeah, it's not like double the frame rate equals double the, the size of it. Usually, like for example, like if I put a 15 minute video together, at, at 30 frames a second, it'll be like 300 megabytes or something like that. And then if I put it, at 60 frames, it'll be like 400 megabytes. Hmm. Okay, okay. I maybe I'll start recording in 60 frames. I don't know. Yeah, I've been doing it just just in case and just as preparation. If YouTube ever had done 60 frames a second, you then, must have been pretty excited. I was so happy. <laughs> I was like, "Yay, 60 frames a second! Maybe I'll just re-upload stuff at 60 frames, and that'll make a whole bunch of spare time that I don't have to record." I guess I yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty good actually. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to start doing that with season two. I, one of these days when I work up the energy, I just want to. I just like I, one of the games in season two. I just want to fucking finish before we're done with Skies of Arcadia, and then <laughs> I'll just have all of it. Right. But yeah, the 60 frames per second support right now. It's just those like test videos that they showed off. It's like mm -hmm. three videos. Yeah. Um, and they say that the support for it will come out like progressively over the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. So kind of like what they do with most of their updates or like Facebook does with theirs. It's like some people will start noticing a difference while others won't. And then, yeah, it's just like rolling. 
right? Yeah, it scrolls to different users at different times. So obviously, probably the bigger YouTubers will get it first. And well, yeah, the fucking YouTubers who can activate paid subscriptions. Every time I go into my general things, I, I'm like paid subscriptions. I, you have to have yeah. fifty thousand subscribers. I'm like, Jesus. Okay, calm down, <laughs> YouTube. I'll get there, obviously. Our efforts are too noble to not have 50,000 subscribers eventually. Yeah. I, you think yeah, if we do this for like 10 I... years, we could just hit that number eventually? No, no absolutely not. Oh, I, I, as of the recording of this, I just hit 15 or 1,500. So. Right, but you're better at this game. You're better <laughs> at playing the YouTube game than I am. Like, I, I have no confidence that if I did this until the day I die, I would ever get more than... A hundred subscribers. <laughs> but, like that's where I feel like I'm gonna cap out. Hundred. What are we at now? Ninety-nine. Twenty-seven. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> yeah, we have ninety-nine subscribers. Right? Ninety-nine subscribers and five views on every video. <laughs> Look, there are a lot of bots. <laughs> Granted, there has been one guy going through. He commented uh, in like the span of a day on two different ep Skies of Arcadia episodes from way back when. It seems like we got a new subscriber who's working his way through with them. Which is always right. nice to see. Well, to you, who probably won't see this for like a month or two, congrats, congrats. to you first. And thank you. You're also, what are you doing? That's so <laughs> much video. <laughs> How can you spend that much time watching us play this game? We're not that funny. I'm being, not that funny. I know that for sure. sure. That's not being you know, honest. It's about as true as it gets. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. Saying. But we had a good conversation about Nintendo. That's true. I mean, obviously, the good conversation was just desperate mitigation of the fact that I've been fighting these same couple enemies <laughs> for like the last 50 <laughs> minutes of my life, slowly grinding. Yeah, let's say how, how much gold are you at? Do you I'm know? Like Seventy thousand. See, it's going by. Don't don't quick. even act like that's like good, Kyle. <laughs> It's got like 5,000 to go. It's true. Your fault. <laughs> we would have been there by now if we didn't pay for that stupid That's crewmate that we haven't used. That is definably true. <laughs> that I told you you didn't have to get. Right. You, there's a, okay. you said you should get him. I said he's worth it, but you don't have to get him right now. Right, but you, okay. You didn't say I wouldn't get him right now. You were like, you don't have to. You understand the difference in intonation. <laughs> Right, like, yeah, no, I like understand. You told us that we had an option not to, but that we really should. <laughs> right. Because yes, the underlying the tone of that was, I know eventually you're going to have to have that 100,000. Right. So why not, you know, play around a little bit? Why not be an asshole? No, it's exactly. clear now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for anybody who's already played the game, they're like, oh, man, he just did that to them. Hey, guys, remember how long ago it feels when that thing happened with the Crescent Island? <laughs> <laughs> that was like four episodes ago. Right? Yeah, 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 totally. What was what happened again? Like that just seems so long ago. I can't remember. Yeah, it was. It wasn't a big deal. I oh, don't okay. remember. All I remember is that it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Evan was I don't, I don't not wrong that. in his mind. Yeah, yeah. I was not wrong <laughs> in my mind. I mean, I was wrong about one thing. I wasn't wrong about the rest of it. Uh huh. The rest of it was an appropriate right, right. response. I that, mean, you were completely right if something wasn't wrong. Yeah, no, exactly, that's, yeah. that's the only point I'm trying to make. I'm just saying that my response would make contextual sense. You would be completely right if we weren't in reality. My response. I, I like the idea of, like, after a math test, like, Evan gets back and gets the <laughs> wrong answer on. He just walks up to the teacher he's like, look, but see, look, if, if this times this was this, then, then I would right. <laughs> right. No, but that's fair. I mean, obviously, it's not fair to claim I should... I'm not asking for you guys to call me right, just as I wouldn't ask for that point back, but I think it would be a demonstration of skill if I said, I made one mistake up here, but then I did a really complex, complex, like, math problem and got the right result with this one mistake being made. There's value to that. What's the value? What what skill would you call that? The, yeah, the, say, value, the value of is that I made one stupid to mistake. Uh, islands for each the other. the value would be that it would demonstrate that I have, regardless of what happened this time, some technical know-how that allowed me to solve it incorrectly. <laughs> I, swear, oh, I swear it makes sense. <laughs> if you say so.
You're just being obstinate. Yes, I am. You just can't. You just can't see what I'm saying for what I'm saying, man. Nope. I guess not. Uh, do I have seventy? Oh my god. Just go sell somebody. Go sell the prince to somebody. I did just sell the prince. What Enrique? Yeah. You want me to like? What like slavery? You want me to sell? Not, not necessarily slavery. That's no, what no, slavery is. Send, send a letter to Valia saying that we kidnapped him and we want ransom. Yeah, I mean, if this were a dynamic fucking video game, I could do that. <laughs> but instead, this is the only way to make money in this dog eat dog world is fighting these like shellfish. <laughs> I wish I could just make money by punching lobsters. Yeah, I know, right? You can. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody would pay you money to punch a lobster. <laughs> if somebody watching this video would pay me money to punch a lobster, contact me at Ryan M at Aaron.Found.org. He'll do that as soon as we make that shirt with Pikachu on it. Did we get a second person for that yet? Uh, no, but we got one person. We got one person who said they'd buy it. There you go. I don't know how to make a t-shirt. Spreadshirt? Well, I can't draw. Oh, that's right. We have artist We've... friends. Yeah, say we've been over this before. Yeah, I know we have artist friends. I'm just uh, saying that I'm lazy. <laughs> you get that? Look, if an artist friend wants to draft up, basically it should be like uh, it's Pikachu wearing sunglasses, and he should have a really fat belly, and he should be like nice. rubbing his belly. Yeah. And there should be a little speech bubble that says uh, "slam" in it. <laughs> And if somebody wants to draft that up for me, I'll put it on a t-shirt. All right, then. Um, Get to it, artist. And then on the back of the shirt, there should be, like, Dig Dug, Scowling. And it should <laughs> say Dig and Get Dug. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, I think that should be a separate shirt where on the yeah. front it has Dig Dug and it says Dig. And then on the back it has Dig Dug again and says Get Dug. Yeah, but in the first one, they should look, like, happy. Or yeah. or in the first one, they should be scowling above ground, and in the second one, they should be below ground. <laughs> and get dug. And get dug. Or should the, like, front be where, where they're saying dig? Should they be below ground? Mm, well, if we were going to do that, then in the on the back, it should have them, like, popping out, and, like, they should be, like, biting a war turtle or something. I was gonna say like the top or the the first the front could be them underground you know dig mm -hmm. and then on the other side you have him underground with another one like on top like burying him it says and get dug. Yeah, I see what you're doing there, but it's but we need the dig dug to be in. That's not even what it's called. But <laughs> it's a dug. We dug. need the dig dug. We need the dig dug to be empowered. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait till we start playing Pokemon Crystal. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> How can you say that? I successfully the first Pokemon convinced playthrough you. Playthrough went so well, right? It went well. I think it was a good playthrough. It had a good narrative to it. In which the I, ending was amazing. The ending was great, and there was that one point where I cut together that Pikachu music video with Kanye West's power <laughs> behind it. That's probably still my finest work. Wow. It still makes me laugh. Well, it's just, <laughs> I took parts of the, like, it would, it was cut to the music too, like an actual music video, or it'd be like, it'll show, like, us dominating as, as, as Pikachu, and then I'll say, like, uh, enemy fainted, and then I'll do a quick zoom in on fainted, and then it'll cut to, like, a scene from the anime of him licking a bottle of ketchup. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Love that's that. in the episode Dig and Get Dug, by the way. <laughs> I know, because every time I scroll through my videos, it tells me that the episode Dig and Get Dug will not be available in some regions. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wonder why. I wouldn't know. Oh my god. What? Oh, hey. We could probably start flying back to my pet will get battles. By the... Yep, you can probably fly back now. Look, Evan, all I'm saying is I think it would be interesting if you did a playthrough of Pokemon Silver and then at the same time, just like we switch off episodes, I'm playing through Pokemon Gold. No. <laughs> that would be terrible. No. That would be doing? insanely terrible. That's just twice the video with <laughs> once the content. There's no... <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
<laughs> and the worst part is it would just be you and me. <laughs> like, yeah. It would just be, oh, look. Ryan, you're playing this part I just played that we talked over. Why don't we talk about rock, paper, scissors some more? All I'm saying is Caterpie does not actually evolve into a Butterfree. Oh my god. <laughs> don't even remind me. Fucking only thing Ryan claims he's good for is Pokemon knowledge. Then we get to a Pokemon quiz arena and the first question he gets wrong. <laughs> it's a bullshit trick question. <laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> it's a terrible trick question. That makes no sense. It makes some sense. I'm not going to say it makes no sense. All I'm saying is that you failed me constantly. And then by Jeez. the end, you were like, this is a bad video game. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> you, you came to the conclusion that Pokemon is actually... T it's <laughs> basically like what happened with Hannibal and Matthew on our on my television podcast, the series regular, where we started that show, and uh, Matthew had already watched the first season, and he was like, oh yeah, this is like a, you know, B-plus season of television. And then by the end, he gave it like a C, and then the second season we just watched and both gave Fs. <laughs> and it's just like... It's just... The, wow. How the opinions slide. Bookman still really likes that show. That's true. Oh, everybody likes that show. Oh, right, so that doesn't look like a crescent. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Evan. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, this has been a long episode. Dig and get dug. Dig and get dug. <laughs> that should be the title of this episode. There's already this another too. episode of the show called Dig and Get Dug. We don't need the joke. We don't need yeah, this. Do it again. I I'm not gonna start repeating titles like 120 episodes into our show. I can do but better than funny. that. I can do better than that. <laughs> that should be the title. I can do better than that. <laughs> I already know what the title is, you motherfuckers. I'm just gonna write that down just in case. I know what the title is, okay? I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> taking off the part of it, though. Uh, come on, you can do this, guys. We're almost there. You can, okay, just, just rain of swords them. Just. Oh, God. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> So hot in this room. <laughs> I hate it so much. I ran out yeah, of you water. Can, you can press start to skip past these. Really? Do it, like early on in the uh, super move. I can. You can't do it now. Early if if you you have to do it like early on, you can't do it like midway through. Oh, or anything, fuck! Will they make that decision? <laughs> what is that? Well, is that You've made it halfway through. You're ready to just <sighs> right. Watch the whole thing. Yeah, good job, Ika. <laughs> That's a good title. Kyle, good title. shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay. How we looking? All right, we're done, man. We're done, all right. See, that didn't take too long. All right, long. cliffhanger. Tune in tomorrow cool. for the stunning conclusion. Will we pay this asshole? Maybe. Maybe we will. <laughs> we will. This, is JRP this has been JRPG Astoria Future Perfect. Now it's deactivating. <laughs> 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 <laughs>